another video in the BMW series today. Let me show you what we're doing. It's inside the engine bay. If we look down there, right at the very bottom, that is the end of the exhaust manifold where it goes into the exhaust system. And that flexi there, you can see where it's all coming to pieces, is blowing. And this is the repair piece, which actually needs to be welded into the exhaust system. So it's flanged at one end, but the other end is a welding piece. Initially, I thought I was going to have to remove this under tray to get to where I need to get to. But I think actually that's going to be able to stay in place. Because you can see there, even with the under tray in place, this joint is perfectly well exposed. And this is the part which has actually come apart. So the replacement part is this flange, this flexi, and then it will need to be welded onto this section of the pipe here. And you can see that's all rotten and no longer attached. This centre section here is obviously going to have to be at the right angle because it's got the support that comes off the side of it. So the orientation of this is going to be vital to getting these parts in the right place. So we're going to start by attempting to unbolt these two bolts that go to either side of this flange and see if we can actually move this flexi section complete. With these nuts removed, I'm not sure if there's going to be enough space to get this all the way back but I will give it a try, see what I can do. Fail on that. If these bolts need to come off, or these centre bracket come off, uh, I've put a bit of Bulldog BDX on them, let them soak. So if I do need to get them off to move this centre section that way, I'll have a bit of flex. But hopefully, with two items, I should be able to wiggle that off, get that off the pipe. There we have it, with a bit of wiggling. There's the manifold from the engine. There's the centre pipe. Here is the broken flexi pipe. And here's the two of them side by side. This is the original BMW part. And this is the replacement, which appears to be actually much sturdier than the original BMW part. You see how thick this is, which explains why they've given me new bolts to go through these holes, even though the bolts that were holding this on are actually captive and in the exhaust manifold flange. So I suspect what I'm going to have to do is send a grinding disc through one of them. So to drop the exhaust down, I'm going to release these two bolts here. If you're not familiar with this head pattern, these are E sockets, and this particular one uh, is an E10. So the end of the socket, I don't know how well you it's like a star shape, and they're pretty good because they tend not to round off even when they're quite rusty. So I've just sliced through the end of the, the old flange, because obviously it steps out at this point. So cut this back to a um, round section of pipe that's the right diameter. I am going to have to dress this a little bit because as you can see, the new piece, when I offer it up, that fits that sleeve slightly over there. And because some of these sections here are still a bit sharp and lifted up where the old welds were, I'm going to knock those bits off. And at that point, I put the new sleeve over and then I can line it up with the nuts on the back of the downpipe. So I've temporarily reattached these bolts to the exhaust because what I've done is fitted a new repair section in place so these all line up with where they're going to need to be once it's all together on the car, just so that I can tack some welds onto this and actually line it up in the position it needs to be. Now I suppose if you didn't have access to welding gear, then you could probably put a sleeve or a clamp on there just cut a couple of slots in there but welding it up for me is the more permanent repair this is by no means the prettiest welding i've ever done but it gets it tacked in place obviously we need to seam around the whole of the repair section this is just this piece here this piece here um, but what i'm going to do next is i'm going to drop those bolts back out and i'll drop the exhaust back down and give myself some more access so i can actually get the whole thing welded all the way around because with that now in position like that that's not going to move relative to this the positions of these this mountain bracket here so i've ground the head of that sorry i've ground the thread of that stood off so there's just that little piece there so what i'm going to do now is try and drift it through so 
So I'll bash it through that way and see what happens. So the next thing we're going to do is try and drill this out of here. Getting there, part way there. Keep going. Still going with this, still drilling. Uh, it's taking its time, very hot, lots and lots of cutting fluid on it. Nice and steady with the drill. This is quite thick and I can't work out if this is actually captive stud or if it's physically welded on the back of there. But I can start to feel just on the back of there, the end of the drill bit is just starting to make a hole in that. This is heavy going. So there we go, there's the first one drilled out. That took an absolute age. Okay, this is the second one. What I've done is I've ground, I've cut the stud head flat with a grinding disc, and then a different approach with this. I've got a little two mil metal drill bit, and I've drilled a pilot hole, which I'm going to try and remount and make bigger because it took so long just drilling it out with a correct size bit before. Um, but I, I'm not enjoying this job at all. It's just taken ages and ages. Although drilling it with a Two mil bit is a lot quicker than drilling it with the eight mil bit to begin with. I have sharpened and blunted and resharpened and blunted and cut and fluid and everything. Drill bits, not just this one, several different drill bits for an age on this job. I've got one of them drilled out, the other one is almost there, but I've had enough. The same madness is doing the same thing and expecting another result. This is such slow going. So I've had to dig around in the workshop and I found my carbide bits. This has to work. This has to pull this out. Yeah, that's the answer. That's what I should have done in the first place. That's about three minutes of machine with a carbide burr. What a difference. So I'm going to clean that out. I'll clean the other one up and then we get the bolts back in and then we can refit the flexi. All told, it's taken me about 15 minutes of machine, if that, for these carbide burrs. I will leave a link in the description to these. These are lethal. They're really, they'd be quite dangerous if you, if you don't know what you're doing with them. Um, but they've saved my life on this one. No, it was either going to be that or another two or three hours messing about with drill bits. So all I've got to do now is there's two bolts going, there's a gasket, and then we'll bolt the flexi back on. So in the kit with this flexi is this, which includes this new kind of steel gasket piece here. So what I'm going to do is try and pull this old one off, which I don't think it's going to come off complete. Uh, but I'm going to stick a screwdriver in, work my way around it, and pull it off to give this the best possible chance. Nice, fresh new gasket of sealing up exactly how you want it to. That's nasty. That gasket's all off. You see it's recessed there. It came off in about 100 flaky little pieces. Okay, they're on there. But before I nip them up, I am going to reattach these supports here so that the flexi isn't hanging on these bolts and that's it we're done Whew, filthy I hate exhausts absolutely hate them but here we are sitting in the car engine running rev the engine and there's no exhaust blow so join us in the next one to see how we get on for mot